What's up guys, it's Vicious Vicious Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Insurmountable. I don't know what this game is, it was free on the Epic Game Store, and I uh, snagged it then. We're going to go with normal. I don't actually know what this is, like, uh, do you, do you survive multiple days? Is it like a survival game? While searching for anomalies, huh? Hmm. Is it some kind of alien thing? That'd be kind of cool. Like, complete flip on its head. Turns out you're hunting aliens. What the fam fuck is this? Um. Okay, okay. I was like, I can't see shit. You cast your gaze over the enormous mountain landscape. You have traveled across the globe seeking out adventure, but this land island is nothing like you've ever seen before. As far as you can tell, it's largely largely unexplored. This is why I'm not a narrator. The only information you can find were where a few rumors about a unknown occupying force. On the way here, you stumbled across abandoned property and lost places. You wonder what happened here, what secrets the island is keeping. Then you shake your head. You might be nice to have some answers, but your goal is clear. Reach the summit. That's why you are here. That's what drives you. Alright. Left click a valid tile to add a checkpoint to which the character should move. Okay. You can press the move button to move or stop. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. I feel like this is some Final Fantasy shit. Okay. That doesn't fucking help me. A gust of wind catches you and you almost fall into a deep fissure. You flail wildly with your arms trying to keep your balance. Suddenly someone grabs your wrist and pulls you back from the ledge. That was close. Just a second later and you would have fallen to your death. You sternly tell yourself that you really have to pay more attention. You need to, you no need to press your luck when there is danger at every turn. Your knees still weak. You take a look at your rescuer. She's a young woman in a threadbare anorak. There's a green stone fastened around her neck with a leather strap. Fascinated, you stare at the hand-carved charm. Its slow glow is almost hypnotizing. The stranger coughs and, without saying a word, holds some provisions for you to take. You want to give her something in return, so you search through your pack. You finally find something and look up. The strange woman is gone. A bizarre meeting, but you can't help but be grateful for her help. Okay, I got an oxygen thing. Cool. Um. Okay, right click items to the mouse to use them. Click and hold with the left to drag. Alright. Alright. Um. Okay. All right. No, no. 
Okay. There we go. Climb. I feel like her name is Judy. Go, Judy. You enter an extensive network of caves. Towards the rear, you notice an extinguished campfire lying in front of it. A stranger bundled up under a fur blanket. I find a quiet corner and lie down to rest. I leave the cave or I wake the stranger. Okay, so I did, and nothing happened, I guess. This game is so odd. All right, so it's nightfall. What's up there? I don't know what's up there, but we're gonna find out. Oh, do we get to go shopping? Okay. A golden eagle suddenly lands in front of you, its wings carrying it majestically to the ground. Fascinated, you watch it, and it watches you too, unafraid. You can't explain it, but the encounter feels magical. Fully wrapped up in this moment, you regain a sanity or warmth. Uh, sanity. We'll sleep here. doing all right uh cold 
cold weather has a negative impact on your body temperature, especially at night. Okay. All right. Can trigger dangerous events. Okay. Ooh. Looks like we're doing good. Let's get up here. There you go. Climb. 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 Alright, we're doing pretty good. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly, toothless smile and motions for you to sit with her to recharge your strength. You do as she suggests and regains health or warmth, which I need neither of. I'll go with warmth, though, because, like, I don't know. Maybe she made me feel warm inside, like, loved and shit. Your path leads you past a sheer wall with snow towering high on top of it. You are progressing carefully when you hear rumbling. Instinctively, you assume a crouching position and take a deep breath. Within the blink of an eye, you feel the weight of snow pin pinning you to the ground. Your only chance is to dig your way out. I'll dig slowly. You know that in situations like these, you have to remain calm and use your energy wisely. You wait a moment to make sure the snow has actually come to a stop. Then you dig carefully upwards, inch by inch, until your fist breaks through the snow covering and cold air rushes into your lungs. You made it. Nearby an abandoned camp, there are a couple of empty oxygen bottles. You take the time to search the tents. Thoroughly search the tents. I have found two bottled oxygen tanks. Nice. Let's see. Hmm. Nope. We're we're gonna risky for the biscuit here. I want to get to the top of this. Uh. Okay, 
now we're going to use the tent. Oh my god. That's where we started. We have made no progress. Jesus. We're gonna make this bitch speed. She says, don't mind if I freaking do. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. wah. Don't worry, we're gonna find a cave and then we're going to rest. Maybe that'll give us some energy back. She's just so fast and speedy. Look at her go. So proud of her. So proud of Judy. You enter an extensive network of caves. Towards the rear, you notice an extinguished campfire. Lying in front of it is a stranger bundled up under a fur blanket. Wake the stranger. You approach the mountaineer, but he doesn't react. You bend over and gently shake him. The second you touch the stranger, he leaps up as though he's been stung by a rattlesnake. That doesn't make sense. And knocks you flat on your back. As you lie cowering on the ground, he packs his things and disappears out of the cave without a word. You are once again in the vast entrance of a cave. I lay down and sleep. We sleep long. Fuck, dude. You didn't have to shove me down like that, bitch. Okay, level up. Uh, we're... Okay. Um, we'll go with that one. Yes. You discover an intact tent. There's no one inside, but the embers of the fire pit are still glowing. The camp is obviously being used by someone. It could contain valuable items. I search the camp. A tent with an unusual symbol catches your eye. You plunder and find valuable equipment. Oh, hell yeah. Climbing gloves? Done. Alright, we're just going to travel through the night. Fuck it, we'll sleep when we're dead. Give me more stuff. Oh my god. Just go all the way down into a hole to come back all the way up a hole. A jingle fills the air around you. Harmonious and melodious. Melodious, followed by the sound of falling rain. You follow the sound to discover tubes of metal and wood tied together in a bare treetop. Dancing and striking each other in the wind, you watch the wind chimes and lose yourself in the fleeting melodies. You regain sanity or health. Sanity. I just need to go down. I don't know why it's so difficult to, like, change the angle of the fucking camera. Lying on the ground are two dead mountaineers. It looks like they haven't been there for long. You recognize the symbol on the clothing. It looks the same. Oh, oh no! I stole their... Aww. Hmm. 
hold on, hold on. Pause. Options. Key bindings. Look around is B. Rotate camera is the middle mouse button. Oh. What the fuck? Thank you. Why is it? Oh, this is so frustrating. I just want to listen, dude, dude, dude. fucking hate you. Why are you fucking like this? Oh, great. Now I can't fucking see. What is going on? No, I don't. There. Finally, I was just trying to get to the fucking cave. Jesus. You enter a cave. After a few steps, you feel an icy wind on your face. Things will be coming from inside the cave. Um, I follow the wind. Countless stalactites hang from the ceiling, blocking your path. As you deftly search for gaps between the enormous rock formations, ducking beneath them, you suddenly hear a grinding noise. At the last second, you narrowly dodge the pointed projectile that came crashing down from above. It was a hair's breadth from piercing your torso. Oh my. Then you see something that makes your blood run cold. A short distance ahead of you is a corpse, riddled with stalactites. That poor soul, if only he'd have had your luck. Feeling more than a little queasy, you rummage through the fur pouch he was carrying. The provisions you find and you find provision. You find provisions and hastily tuck them into your pack, then you turn to leave. This place is too dangerous. Okay, and... We'll long sleep. We'll long sleep through the day like a vampire. Thank you. There. Thank God. Go, Deborah, Barbara, or whatever the hell I named you. Climb. Climb. You're walking through powdered snow and suddenly your feet slip out from under you. A layer of smooth ice has been formed beneath the snow, making almost making walking almost impossible. I wish I could talk. Climb. Let's sleep long. Okay. Open the inventory. Um
There we go. In our vast cavern, several passages leading deep into the mountain. You listen, you can hear metallic clanging coming from one of the passages, as if someone is banging a hammer against a heat pipe. I follow the noise. You walk a few steps down into the passageway. The clanging gets louder, but it's so dark that it's hard to say how far away the noise is coming from. I keep going. Keeping one hand on the wall, you make your way forward carefully. The clanging sounds muffled and regular, as if you were coming from a broken machine or some sort. You walk further and further into the cave system. Suddenly the noise stops. You wait a moment with nothing, just endless darkness and bitter cold. What were you thinking? Frustrated, you turn around and stumble back up the passageway. After a while, you stop still. Having lost your way, you stare into the darkness. You can see something rectangular in front of you. You, keep, you feel around and realize it's a metal chest. You quickly add the contents to your pack and keep going. You get lucky. After making several turns, you, find, you finally find the cave entrance and examine your find. Guess that small detour was worth it. Oxygen. Nice. Nice. I lay down and I sleep. I sleep long. I long sleep. Alright, let's level up. Dope, another cave. You enter in a cave. It's dry and sheltered from the wind. Lie down and sleep. Long sleep. Mmm. Getting all that long sleep. Restoring all the shit, man. Oh. I'm so adventurous. The air is getting thin and your breath is heavy. You have entered the death zone. You pause for a moment to prepare for the difficult pass toward the summit. Um, decrease oxygen loss for a longer time. And decreased energy cost for a shorter time. Hmm. I mend my wound. Don't worry, guys. We will get it. You find a backpack concealed under a thin layer of snow, but per boot prints lead away from the spot in a zigzag pattern and disappear behind a rock. Um, search the backpack. Empty brandy bottle, then another and another. There's nothing else in it. Disappointed, you fling the backpack away and continue your journey. Well, shit. Um, sure. You discover a bird's nest that's extremely unusual at this altitude. You find some herbs in the nest. Nice. A wide crack in the ground in front of you brings to an abrupt halt. You look into the depths. Jagged ice reaches up at you like spear. Suddenly, you hear rumbling behind you. Startled, you turn around. An avalanche of ice and snow is rushing towards you, cutting off your way. You're trapped. 
Um, jump across. You quickly throw your bag to the other side of the crevice, then take a few steps, run up, and leap across as well. As your boots hit the ground on the other side, you slip. At the last second, you manage to grab one on the ridge of ice as the rolling mass of ice and snow tumble down into the abyss. Alright, last of the... Uh, Alright, let's hope that something is here. An old woman sits in front of a crooked hut. She wears a friendly toothless smile and motions for you to sit with her to recharge your strength as you do as she suggests and regain warmth or health. And neither of those I really need. Yep, we're just gonna have to long sleep this one. I am so close. I can't make that. In your weakened state, you're becoming inattentive. You stop watching your step for a brief moment and slide down a steep slope. With your last strength, you manage to pull yourself up. You're injured but full of adrenaline. All right. Spot a deer stand between two skeletal trees just ahead of you. As you consider walking over to the deer stand you, to search for provisions, you hear rumbling. Sounds like an avalanche? You see the snow cloud on the horizon. It's heading straight for you. Gotta continue. I can't. I can't search it. Your heart feels light and full of joy as you stand on the summit. The hardship of the client already forgotten. Your save, your savor, you savor the moment. It is yours and yours alone. What an adventure! What a view! Off in the distance, you can see more mountains, higher than ever, than higher even than the one you are on. You are standing on, Jesus. And what's that? Something stands atop one of them, long and thin. From this distance, it looks like an antenna, but that can't be right, or can it? You want to take a closer look. You aren't done exploring yet, but first you have to get out of the death zone and find a safe place to take a break. And increase all my stats. Okay. Alright, I'm going to quit here because it's not that fun of a game. Honestly, like, I'm... Eh. It's not my type of game. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, comment down below, let me know your thoughts on this game or these types of games, and I will see you guys, oh, if you are not subscribed, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.